Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. It is 1036 in Honolulu, 336 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday as we say on the islands. It is the 6th day of January 2023 and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. As we spoke about yesterday, it will be up to today's jobs report that will determine the short-term direction of gold. The jobs report came out indicating that a total of 223,000 jobs were added in December. That was above estimates of 200,000, and it brings on some hope that the Federal Reserve will ease their pace of rate hikes as well as possibly even lower interest rates in 2023. Gold basis the most active February contract is up $30.80 and fixed at $1,871.40. Silver took a nice jump of about 2.4% with the most active March contract currently fixed at $23.98.5 and all of that was aided by a drop in the dollar index of well over a percent, 1.13%, with the dollar index currently fixed at 103.64. I want to start today's technical studies off with a long-term view of gold pricing. At the beginning of 2022, January 3rd, the first trading day last year, up to current pricing. This chart clearly illustrates that after gold hit its highest value last year, $2,077, we had a series of lower highs as well as lower lows. What unfolded at the end of September of last year was a series of lows that all came in roughly at $1,621, effectively forming a triple bottom and marking the beginning of a rally that commenced on November the 3rd, taking gold from 1621 to current pricing of $1,870. So the question becomes, where could gold go from here? As you know, in my Outlook 2023 video that came out just before the end of the year, I am on record stating that I believe gold will go to a new all-time record high this year. However, it will not be a straight parabolic lineup, but rather a series of rallies and corrections. So what we want to look at is our short-term marks. I draw your attention to this top that occurred in June. That came in at $1,881. We are currently within striking distance of that price point. So one possible model or theory is that gold trades up to either 1881 or 1895 and then begins a corrective stage. However, regardless of whether or not gold corrects at 1895, I believe that the next target above this top here has to be the top that came in last May. This top comes in at right around $2,000 per ounce, and it lines up exactly with a Fibonacci extension of 1.618%. The extension was created simply from the first leg of this rally, $1,617 to 1791 and then begins after the conclusion of the correction that took gold to 1720, if you plot a 1.618 extension, you get $2,000 per ounce. And that, I believe, is where gold is headed by the end of the second quarter of this year. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you, as always, good trading. We will talk to you on Monday for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.